Today I'm changing the transmission fluid in a 2010 Ford Escape. It has the four cylinder engine with the six speed automatic. It's a simple drain and fill procedure, no filter, no pan drop. Since there's no filter and it's easy to do, it's a good idea to stay current on this maintenance item. Before beginning, make sure you have all the tools and materials needed. A ratchet, extension, torque wrench, rags, drain pan, and new lubricant. Here I'll use Amsoil Signature Series Fuel Efficient ATF. Make sure you check your owner's manual or shop manual for the appropriate materials for your own vehicle. Amsoil has a great product lookup guide for determining the specific products for your vehicle and I'll include a link in the description. Some people will find there's adequate room to reach the drain plug without lifting the vehicle. I've set the vehicle on jack stands for a little extra clearance. If you lift the vehicle any amount, make sure it's done in a safe manner. Never get under a vehicle held up by a jack. Work safe. There's a plastic cover that needs to come off to gain access to the plug. It's held on with six bolts. A 10 millimeter socket is used to remove them. There's one more plastic clip holding it at the top, but I just left that in place. With the bolt out, it can be moved out of the way. You should have the fluid warmed up to get out as much of the old fluid and contaminants as possible. The drain plug comes out with a 7 16 inch wrench. It's basically an 8 inch pipe fitting. Let the old fluid drain completely. Okay, the flow is starting to slow now, which is good because my pan's getting pretty full. Once the old lubricant is drained, I'll reinstall the drain plug with sealant and torque it to a spec of 106 inch pounds. These are the bolts that hold the cover on. I'll lube them with some metal protector and reinstall the cover. Here's the six bolts, lubed up, ready to go. Okay, the shield's been kind of caught back up over here. All the six bolts holding this plastic cover back on. We'll set her on the ground, start filling her up with oil next. Oil is filled through the dipstick tube. This requires a long funnel. I'll add about a third to a half of the amount drained, and then start it up and add a little at a time until it's refilled. Cycle it through the shifter positions. I'll go for a test drive to mix the fluid up good. Once again the cover comes off and it's tucked up out of the way. The total fill is about 9 quarts. Draining removes about 5 quarts. Since only part of the fluid is replaced, I'll repeat the process to get more of the old fluid out. So here's our plug. Looks much redder this time than last time. The vehicle is sitting on jack stands at the front and it's a little nose high. I'll jack the rear end up to change the angle so a little more of the old fluid runs out.
and the plug goes back in for the second time with sealant torqued to 106 inch pounds. Okay. I'm going to put the, the shroud back in place. One thing about doing it twice, everything is fresh on your mind and it goes fast. The bolts are in, there's six bolts that use this 10 millimeter socket. Okay, here we are about to fill it for the second time. I'm using Amsoil's top-of-the-line fuel-efficient ATF. This is the Amsoil recommendation for the Ford Mercon LV specification as well as many others where a lighter transmission fluid is used. See the links for more information and the specifications covered by this and other Amsoil products. Okay, I just ran it a little bit, now I'm going to put some more in. This funnel has a notch where the bottle sits and is perfect for getting every last drop from the Amsoil gallon jugs. After two drain and fills, about 80% of the fluid has been replaced. Here's how the math works out. About 5 quarts of 9 total is replaced with a drain and fill. Two drain and fill cycles replaced about 80% of the old fluid. You can see the color change over the course of the two drain and fills. Check the fluid with the motor running, transmission in park, and the fluid warm. Level should be within the hash marks. If you like the video or find it helpful, leave a thumbs up or a comment and subscribe to the channel. For more information or to purchase Amsoil products, see the links in the description to this video or go to MidwestSynthetic.com. Thanks for watching.